We're at the TV Line Comic Con Suite with the cast of The Flash. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to new series regulars Danielle Nicolay, Hartley Sawyer, and Jessica Parker Kennedy. Thank you. Hi. Jacob, you Jessica, you're playing Nora West? Nora Allen? Nora, Nora West Allen, Allen, Allen West, West yes. Did we? Okay. Nora, Nora, Allen. Allen West. Nora West Allen. Nora West Allen. <laughs> Nora West Allen. Nobody follows this no stuff. One, no one knows. No, no one, one knows. knows. <laughs> no one this won't be retweeted. This won't be retweeted. No, no, no one will ever see that I just did that. It's fine. No, well, let's talk about right. Nora. Is Team Flash buying what this girl is selling? That she's Barry and Iris' daughter? Any skeptics in the group? We're usually pretty gullible from the beginning. <laughs> like, that's yeah. like a team yeah, thing, Yeah, right? operating a principle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sure, anything you tell us. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Very you can't stop raise it. raise the issue. Yeah, There's a, wa a wave yeah, of skepticism, yeah. and then we move yeah. past it. <laughs> <laughs> Barry says, I'm going to keep my yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about the big, big mistake that Nora believes she has made. Right. What is the big, big mistake? Uh, <laughs> Did she go back in time and she wasn't supposed to? You know? I assume that much. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did yeah. you go back in time when you weren't You went back in time when you weren't supposed to? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. did. There you yeah, go, you there you go, now you know it. Grant and Candace, how does it feel for Barry and Iris to suddenly have a grown daughter in their lives? Is, is one of you more maternal, paternal than the other? Iris is definitely more eager and accepting of Nora being there. She just wants to, like, get to know her daughter and spend time with her and that's not really reciprocated from Nora which we'll find out why a little bit later on in the season mm. um, because she just, was avoiding you she all was last avoiding season. me yeah. and, and we'll find out why shortly yeah. into the season but she she loves her daddy yeah, yeah. she's pretty pumped about dad and yeah <laughs> but dad is also like you know like like I said apprehensive at first at least has a wave of skepticism because we have been tricked at the beginning of every season so and this is <laughs> the beginning of the season so um, it, but yeah we have a pretty fun <laughs> relationship right now <laughs> Tell me about this season's uh, big bad, Cicada. Our season's big bad is a, a, a very scary villain. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Cool casting, for real. No, it's gonna be. It's a different character. We haven't had a villain like this. It's um, Todd. Todd. Nice feature. Todd. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's another human. Um, uh, uh, or a non-speedster, you know, and, and he's a little bit different in uh, what he can do, <laughs> Tom. I didn't say anything. I'm just uh, sitting here. What he can do, what he can't do, and how he interacts with the team. Uh, and under what circumstances will the team meet him? Happy um, circumstances. Uh, yeah. Deadly. Happy? Oh. <laughs> Deadly. Yeah. Amidst dealing with the Nora of it all? Um, you know yeah, why. The, the, I think it's safe to say that Nora coming back has sort of had a trickle effect on the, the whole season. Okay. I'll tell you what the problem is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're very prepared. And it's, throw, it's throwing us off our game yeah. a little bit. You seem to know what you're talking about. At this hour of the morning. I'm know. very impressed with you. I think we are. Are we yeah, all? Well, good, because my next question is for you, you Mr. Tom Cavanaugh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> I was hoisted by my own petard. What flavor you know are we getting this year? I'll tell you what flavor we're getting. He's very loud. Um, here's the thing um. about Wells. <laughs> You always need to have one thing on a show. If this show is like, the way I look at this show, this show is, is pretty much perfection. It's going straight to the museum of radio and television. Except for one thing, and you're looking at them, mm. right? And so I consider myself a sacrifice year after year after year. We're just going to keep doing Wells's until we get it right, and that could be season 15. Danielle, what's uh, Caitlin's uh, journey this season? We kind of planted a seed last year that maybe... She's had the killer frost inside her longer than we thought. Yeah, I'm excited to get to explore that a little bit more. I mean, I think it goes, you know, to our theme of family, and she's going to ask some questions about how she ended up with these powers, because it's not from the particle accelerator explosion as she had originally thought. Candace, will Iris be uh, continuing with her journalism arc? Yes, she will. Finally. Season 5, it's happening. Um, I don't know the depths of it or how we're going to work it into the story, but that's what I've been told. So I'm going to say that loud in every interview. So Good. now they have Smart. to do it. Yeah. Okay. I have to do it. I love that. Anything new on the romantic front this season for any of the characters? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the uh, Cisco's of the show and the Ralph's of the show are going to sort of team up. And well, yeah, they're going to have a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's very big. And, uh, Sherlock? Sherlock, yeah. 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 Sherlock has a little romance in his future. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then lastly, can we get Marley's back in some capacity? Yeah. Oh, yes, please. So, she was uh, badass. Yeah, I mean, baby, I mean, she, she was fantastic. Everybody loves her. She's an yeah. amazing actress and yeah. great, amazing person. So yeah. um, if we could work her in, yeah, it'd be fun. She's got a long flight coming to Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>